Hello! In this video, we will solve the equation cosine of 2x equals negative 1 half. To solve it and to find all the solutions, we will use the unit circle. In this equation, the input for cosine is 2x and the value of cosine is negative 1 half. So, on the unit circle, we will start by finding all the angles where the value of cosine is negative 1 half. Recall that on the unit circle we have angles and for each of these angles we have corresponding points. The first coordinates of these points represent the values of cosine and the second coordinates represent the values of sine. And for this problem we will look at the first coordinates because they represent the values of cosine. On the unit circle, one angle where cosine is negative 1 half is 2 pi over 3 and another angle where cosine is negative 1 half is 4 pi over 3. So now we can write that 2x equals 2 pi over 3 and 2x equals 4 pi over 3. Now, what if we have the angle of 2 pi over 3 and to this angle we add 2 pi which is one full rotation? Then we end up with the same value for cosine. What if we add 4 pi or 6 pi? What about subtracting 2 pi or 4 pi or 6 pi and so on? So, notice that each time we add or subtract 2 pi as many times as we want, we end up at the same point. And at this point, the value of cosine is negative 1 half. Now, how do we write these solutions? We will write that 2x equals 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi multiplied by a number k. So again, here to the end, we will write plus 2 pi multiplied by a number k. And this k can be any integer. Now, the same situation we will have with the angle of 4 pi over 3. Each time we add or subtract 2 pi as many times as we want, we end up at the same point and here the value is negative 1 half. So, at the very end of the second equation, we will also add 2 pi multiplied by k. Now, we still have to solve each of these equations for x. And for this, starting with the first one, we will multiply both sides by 1 half. So we will have 1 half multiplied by 2x and on the right side 2 pi over 3 plus 2 pi times k all multiplied by 1 half. Then on the left side 2 and 2 will cancel and we will have x and on the right side we will use the distributive property. When we multiply 2 pi over 3 by 1 half, then 2 and 2 will cancel and we will have pi over 3. So let's write pi over 3 plus and when multiplying 2 pi k by 1 half, 2 and 2 will cancel and we will have pi times k. Or we can write k pi. And this is going to be the first set of solutions. And now let's solve the second equation for x. And for this again we will multiply both sides by 1 half. On the right side we will have 4 pi over 3 plus 2 pi k all multiplied by 1 half. Then on the left side 2 and 2 will cancel and we will have x. And on the right side we will use the distributive property. Then 4 divided by 2 is 2. So when we multiply 4 pi over 3 by 1 half we will have 2 pi over 3. So we will write 2 pi over 3 plus and here 2 and 2 will cancel and we will have pi times k or we can write that as k pi. And this is another set of solutions. So this equation has infinitely many solutions 
and they are represented by x equals pi over 3 plus k pi and 2 pi over 3 plus k pi. Thank you for watching and please leave a comment and subscribe.